Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you window menu in Adobe Illustrator. So what I do, I will click on window menu and as you can see that now I have all the options of window menu. The first is new window. You cannot see new window but here we have the option called new window. So what basically what basically a new window is, let's see. So what I do, I will just simply click on new window and as you can see that now I have window. I have right on two windows, the first is original window and second is duplicate window. So what is the work of new window? Let's see. For example, in for example, if I take a rectangle, okay, and as you can see that right now I have rectangle, and if I color it red, so as you can see that now I have rectangle, and in this window, and if I click on second window, so on the second window I have the same object. So what basically new window is? With the help of new window, we can get the copy of our current window, and second is that whatever we will do. Whatever we will do on, on our uh, first window, same thing will appear in the second window as well. For example, as you can see that now I am standing on window 1, which is the original window. For example, if I, uh, if I draw or if I uh, create one object, for example, right now I have this, okay. And if I click on second window, as you can see the second window has the same thing, getting me. So this is the work of a window, by the, by the window we can get the copy of of our uh, original window and whatever we do on, a, on our original window same thing will appear on our second window as well getting me so this is the work of window so very useful for example accidentally if you click on this and definitely as you can see that now you don't have now you don't have your objects but because uh, you you use uh, definitely you use a new window therefore you have uh, you can say one window left getting me so it's very useful getting me so this is the work of new window by the new window we can get the copy and second whatever we do, we do on, a, on original window same thing will appear on the second window as well then what do we have next we have arranged so what basically arrange is let's suppose if we are right now i have this one i have just now one uh, uh one window getting me so let's suppose if i want to arrange means let's suppose if i want to do like this or like this so with the help of arrange i can also do means let's suppose if i say tata or you can say tiles or window or float and window definitely i can also do the same thing what do we have next we have workspace so what basically workspace is right now you are seeing that uh, just seeing this, this here we have uh, two here we have tools here we have all the panels let's suppose if you want to change the arrangement of these uh, panels and tools so how can you do in order to do this first we need to go in window and here we have option called workspace right now i'm using essential for example if you are if you are if you are a painter so definitely you can use uh, painting so if i click as you can see that now i have changed you know i have changed the uh, uh, the, the layout of my uh, you can say uh, of my adobe illustrator you guys can see that the panels are here now these panels are showing getting me so let's suppose if you want to change the arrangement or if you want to change the place of your uh, you can say tools and your you can say panels so you can do it for example if you are working for web so definitely as you can see that now uh, we have these swatches first and they're getting me so adobe uh, definitely is a very smart country therefore they know that if you are uh, if you are animator or if you are if you are a painter so what you need first getting me so for example if you are a painter so definitely uh, you you uh, you will use you will use uh, color a lot so definitely that that's why they have they have made something like getting me so if you, uh, let's suppose if you if you don't like any of this for example if i click on workspace so you don't like any of these workspaces so let's suppose if you say i want my own so you can also make your own how see for example, if I say that I want my uh, this panel here, or if I want my libraries panel here, if I want my uh, uh, info panel here, if I want my links panel here, getting me. So this is this is your choice. And let's suppose if you want to save this your this, this this style, so how can you save? In order to save this, you need to go in window, and here we have workspace, and uh, you have to click on uh, new workspace. As I click on new workspace, now it's showing me a window, and here is asking what what the name you want to give to your this uh, workspace. So it came in name. I say Navid, and if I click on OK, and if I go in window workspace, as you can see that now I have this getting me now showing my name, and this is my own uh, workspace. So let's suppose if you want to switch to essential, you can also switch. Getting me. So, so this is the work of uh, you can say, uh, you can say uh, workspace. Getting me. So with that work workspace, we can change the workspace size. Getting me. Oh, size. Then what do we have next? We have tools. Let's suppose if you if you don't want to show your tools here, so how can you not show? Uh, the first we should see the what basically controls are. So what I do if I if I click on window 
and if I click on controls so as you can see that now it's showing me all the controls but let's suppose if I don't want to show these controls so what I do I will click on uh, uh, controls as you can see that now I don't have controls if I click if I select my object now as you can see now I don't have controls so if you want controls just simply click on control and it will show you all the controls now what do we have next we have tools so what basic tools are so if I if I click on it as you can see that now I'm not able to see my tools so let's suppose if you want to see your tools so just simply go into a window and just simply click on tools and default and as you can see now I'm able to see my tools getting me so this is a work of tools and then from here we definitely we are going to start panels uh, so the, if I go again in window so I have actions so what basically actions are if I click on actions so it will open up uh, you can say a actual panel so action panel shows that what kind of action I've done for example it's showing me that right now you have done this last the action you have done this opacity you have changed the opacity you have changed the river you have you have used revert you have deleted you have moved uh, getting me so with the help of action panel we can see our actions what have we done getting me for example if i take another object if i scale this object so the it will show it will show here that you have scaled this object or you have done getting me so in the action panel we can see our actions and let's suppose if i want to go to my action so what I do, I'll just simply select my action and then I will click on this play button. So definitely I will I move to the, you can say my action, getting me. And if I want to delete my action, I can also delete my action here as well. If I want to create a new action, I can also do. If I want to create a new set, I can also get it. Set, set in easy word, we can say, uh, you can say uh, folder. And if I want to start, begin recording. So what, whatever I will do here, as you, now show, as you can see that it's showing the action, getting me. So for example, if I'm moving, 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 so it's showing me this action. So if I uh, stop this, so whatever I will do, it will not show here, getting me. Uh, then what do we have next? We have align. So alignments are basically for align our object. For example, if I want to keep my object right, right side, left side, if I want to decrease the size or whatever I can do. So with the help of uh, selection, I can also do. I, I usually use direct selection tool to move my object or to, to align my objects. But if you want to use um, you can say up, uh, align you can also use for example if you want to keep your object here left right so definitely you can also use align or uh, panel as well uh, then what do we have next we have appearance so with the help of appearance it will show the appearance of our object for example if I select my object if I go in window and here we have option called appearance so if I click on appearance as you can see that now showing my appearance my, of, of my object for example it's showing that okay the opacity is default means 100% and the, the fill color is red and the stroke color is uh, black and the size of stroke color is 1 pt and this is path getting me so showing the uh, appearance of my object for example if I want to change the, the color or if I want to change the size of my stroke of my object definitely I can also change here getting me as you can see that I'm, I'm changing the size of my uh, object stroke getting me so I can also change it so appearance will show the appearance of my object and then what do we have next uh, we have uh, artboard so what basically artboard is so as you can see that uh, here we have artboard in easy word we call it a uh, page for example if you want to take another so you need to just simply click on this artboard tool and just simply click a drag and as you can see that now I have uh, this page or artboard so if you want to work on artboard so you need to go in view and not window sorry and you have to click on artboards as you can see that now we have all the options of artboard let's suppose if you want to delete any of the artboard let's suppose if i say i don't want second artboard so i will select this and i will click on this and as you can see that now i don't have that artboard anymore and if i want to create another if i want new artboard so what i do i'll just simply click on it as you can see that now i have another artboard name artboard 3 getting me so with the help of this i can get artboards then what do we have next uh, we have attributes and definitely attributes are nothing and uh, uh, definitely what do we have next we have brushes let's suppose if i take a uh, paint brush tool or uh, getting me so the, as you can see now i have this uh, brush let's suppose if i want to change the size if i want to take another brush so how can i take brush brushes i will click on brushes and as you can see that i have all the style of brushes you are not stuck you are, you can not only use this style you have many styles for example if you want to change as you can see now i'm also seeing here the difference getting me so let's suppose if you want the style like this like this so you can also get the brushes and if you want more just simply click on brush libraries menu and it's showing all the libraries for example if you want vector pack if you want uh, borders just simply click on it and as you can see that now it's showing all the 
uh, you can say brushes uh, you can say uh, sizes or styles get me if I just simply click on it and as you can see that now I have this brush stroke so let's suppose if you want the brushes just go in window and here we have all the brushes uh, then go to view next we have color so definitely with the help of color we can choose any color if you just see here uh, your eye should see here and uh, as you can see that I'm able to uh, uh, take any color so if I want color so what I do I will go in window and I will click on color and you can see that now I have this color panel then go to view next so we have color guide so in the color guide we have all more options means uh, we can easily uh, select any of the color and uh, then what do we have next we have color themes so in the color themes uh, it if you if you if you if you have internet connection then color themes will be appear because it requires internet and the uh, second last what do we have we have css properties w what is css css calls cascade style sheet and it is uh, it is a language uh, it is a language it is a language of uh, a website so if you see in in, in your website or if, in any website you see color or if you see uh, good colors so definitely with the help of CSS we get getting me so let's suppose if you want to uh, if you want to get the coding of uh, this property so how can you get the CSS coding uh, you need to just simply select or uh, definitely select your object go in window and here we have uh, CSS properties in the CSS properties showing all the uh, you can say coding means showing that you have used this color background color color border style or getting me with width so if you are familiar with CSS then it, it you, you you will be able to s understand this if you are not then do, don't take the attention the, the work of CSS is a property is to just show the code of CSS last what do we have we have a uh, document info means it will show the all the document info means the, the info information of this document you will say that uh, which color moon they are using CMYK and points or you are using the artboard dimension color everything is showing getting me so in this lecture what have we learned we have learned uh, these options of window menu or definitely window menu and in inshallah in next day lecture we will learn the remaining options of window menu i hope you have understood for more videos lectures and exercises come to my website www.navidplace.com allah wa fiyama allah and i will meet you in the next till then allah hafiz